Hey everybody, Vic here, and this is a full programming of your water irrigation system, your grass sprinkler system. So you're starting out the year, you took out the batteries, you unplugged it for the winter, and now you're gonna go ahead and get it started up. So you wanna get the batteries back in, and then we'll go ahead and plug it in. All right, now let's go ahead and get the programming done. So once you start out the year, you wanna go ahead and first thing is, you wanna set the times and all of that good stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put it in program mode. Okay? That's program mode. And you want to go ahead and set the time. Okay? So right now it is um, I have it set to 24 hours. The time right now is 2.15. So the hours are blinking. So we're already selected. So we're going to adjust it to 14. And we're going to select the minutes now. So once you go this, it selects the next category. And it's actually 2.15. Uh, once I hit select again, it's going to go ahead and go over to 24 hours. So now you see I'm on a 12 hour clock and it's a.m. or p.m. But I like the military. So we're going to keep it as military. So once you get the time set, you're going to put the date in there. So today is the 29th of May. So um, it's already selected the date. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust it. It's the 29th. And then select there's the month you can adjust the month if you needed to but right now it's holding it must have an internal battery so it's the 29th of may 2020 so again if i hit select i could change the year if i needed to but anyway so the amount of time is set manual mode and cycle of the two different videos all together you don't need that as part as your programming of your initial uh, startup so here we go now so now we're going to go ahead and set the schedule okay so we've got a b and c i always just use um a as opposed to um uh, b and c that could be for another video too but this is just to go ahead and get your main um programming set up so right now you see it's set to odd if i want if i go ahead and select that i could set it to even interval event or every day. This is now Sunday through Saturday and it's showing every day. In my town, I can only um, water every other day and depending if I live on an even address side of the street or an odd address side of the street, I'm gonna water either, either on the even or the odd side. So I am on the odd side. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to odd. So now it's only gonna water on the odd days of the week. So right now you see it's the asterisk is by odd, so uh, we're done. Next thing is going to say the water budget. I always leave that at 100%. If you read the manual, it shows you that if you set it to 50%, it'll do everything for half the time. But I never mess with that. I always program what I want, and I leave it at 100%. Now comes the program start time. I typically like to start the programming at about 3 a.m. So once we want to do here is we want to go ahead and... Um, see that we got zone one okay so that's the correct zone and I want to start it though so we want to go ahead and select the time I'm going to leave the time as three but I want to start it at 3 a.m. so we're going to set this to 3 a.m. and I do this because when I get all the programming in there I'm done at about 5 36 o'clock in the morning and then the Sun comes up and it dries it off so here we are set at 3 a.m. Everything's going to be predicated on that first zone starting at 3 a.m. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the zone run time. Okay. Zone run time. I do about 40 minutes in the summer. So we're already selected at that. And we're going to bring this up to 40. Okay. So now we want to get to zone two. So you're going to do select. Now run zone two. And we're going to do the adjust. I'm going to go up to 40 minutes on zone two stay tuned for zone four because zone four i have a huge leak in it and i'm going to do a placeholder of one minute on it so now we're going to select we're at zone three and we're going to set that to 40 minutes and get to zone four. Oh, so zone four is already set to one so zone four is already set to one minute that's a placeholder once i fix the leak i'll go ahead and adjust that up to the full amount but just to leave a placeholder in there um, I'm leaving it at one minute and then finally five and six 40 and 
zone six is 40. So now what we want to do is we're all set. I'm going to set this to auto. That's it. This is a Nelson Easy Pro 800 series. Okay, so depending on what you got, it may be slightly different, but they're all basically following the same programming method. Uh, I'll put the links to my other videos on how to start up your irrigation system yourself every year, thereby saving you about $60, $70. And uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe and feel free to comment. See you in the next one.